So maps are fantastic resources to study history, science, math, they're endless. But when we start to think about how to really inquire about a map, we think about them as a story. So there are some great big ideas to start with when you look at any map, whether it be one that was printed yesterday or one from hundreds of years ago. So the first big idea to think about with any map is perspective. So from whose perspective is the map made? Was the map maker a European? Were they Asian, for example? We also think about the perspective also of the land too. So are we looking at the whole world? Are we looking at only a part of the world? And also the map's projection, meaning how is the world shown on a flat surface, which can also affect the story of the map as well. The second to think about would be the audience and the purpose of the map. So who is the map made for? And what was it made for? Every map has something that it's setting out to do. So what is its purpose? Is it to help navigators cross the ocean? Or is it to convince people of an issue and why that issue is important? The third big idea would be choices. So how does the map maker's perspective affect the, the things that they put on the map? The decorations, how much of the earth that they show, how much of the land, what places do they show? All of those parts are very important to thinking about the map at a deeper level. And then finally, knowledge and change are very important as well, because the map could have been made hundreds and hundreds of years ago. The Americas may not be on it or partially mapped at that point. Um, the oceans may be filled with sea monsters, for example, or land such as a giant Antarctica that we know today is not how the land mass really looks. But hundreds of years ago, they believe that there was a mega continent at the, at the South Pole.